is going on, everybody? Give me just a second here. <laughs> Hitman 3. Alright, what is going on YouTube? I'd like to welcome you guys back to Red's World. Today I'm going to be playing Hitman 3. Uh, this is a game I've been wanting to play for a little while, but you kind of can't just hop on Hitman. You've got to like really be in the mood to pay attention and, and do all kinds of crazy stuff. So, um... I'm gonna be starting fresh um i i like to take my time with these things so if you're expecting me to just you know run through and kill everybody i might do it like because you could save the game so i might like you know save and then if you guys want to see something crazy like all right let me save it and then just see what happens if i shoot them or something but um as far as like actually just uh trying to really play the game and complete the missions i like to take my time with these things and Try to see what all opportunities and stuff I can get, so if you're not for that, you probably don't want to watch this, but if you're for, you know, seeing people try to get the, uh, not necessarily silent assassin, but if possible, that's, you know, the goal. Um. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and hop into it. Um. If the audio is ever off or anything like that, make sure you guys let me know. Um, I'm pretty much doing it by ear, so <laughs> if uh, I'm too quiet or the audio is just unbalanced and you can't hear me or something, just let me know. Alright, so... Man, three. Agent 47. Agent 47 and Diana... And Diana top assassin. Jesus. Working <laughs> Apparently I didn't bring my reading eyes. Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are at the top of the uh, assassins the working for the CSA, the uh, CIA. A secret organization uh, unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of Providence. Providence's controller, the constant. Oh, Jesus. Approaches uh, makes Providence's controller, the uh, constant, the approaches Diana and makes her deal. Eliminate the shadow client to learn about 47's past. But when 47, but when 47 discovers, discovers the that the shadow client, shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost, his lost childhood friend, friend he and Diana he switch and Diana shots to fill in. An old, an old pact, destroy providence. Destroy providence. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, I remember that stuff from the second game. The so. Together, they managed to the capture the constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three providence partners. Eliminate them, uh, eliminate the them and the war should, and the war would be over. However, However the, constant the constant has an ace up his, up sleeve. his sleeve. Um, we're definitely not going to play casual. Ah, uh, <laughs> I forgot there's an, not like a normal, um, unlimited saves. Ooh, you get limited saves now? Okay, no, never mind. Yeah, we'll go professional, why not? Carl Ingram and Marcus Stuya Vesta. I don't know if that's what it says, but... Welcome to Dubai. Welcome to Dubai. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. Yep. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature Stuyvesant. art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Okay, Good so we're in that quick. Jesus, this looks wonderful. 47, come in. 47, do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. For anyone who's ever been in a plane, like, this is literally what the clouds look like. They've done a fantastic job here. 
Alright. I would have broken my knees and fell off the building, but that's why I'm not <laughs> doing this kind of work. What is this? Splinter cell? Mm, Look at those reflections. 47, use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can... Camera? Override the window's controls from here. I'm... I'm Batman. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. Okay. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. This confidence is scary. <laughs> They're not going anywhere. I am Hitman! Alright, so... Wow, this game looks incredible. On behalf of His Royal Highness Omar Al I did have to I drop the stream quality to down to like 720 until I get some more RAM on my computer, so you guys may not be seeing the beauty of this game, Welcome. but it looks incredible, Welcome. trust me. <laughs> Good to see you. How lovely to see so many familiar, familiar faces here. I feel like I just entered a movie with that cinematic, like, crescendo. Okay. That small loan is out of Trump reference. So, I would like to thank my cousins without whose friendship influence this the random characters the npcs look better than I'm most current gen it, like main way. characters but the most important it's ridiculous is for all the people of the world. okay which is today the tallest building in the world but why Betty looks incredible. <laughs> it really does look really good though. Okay. So they opened a building called the Burj Ghazali or the Scepter or some shit like that. <laughs> um, it looks like we're gonna be... I assume that was one of my targets. I don't remember. There it is. Uh, maybe he wasn't one of the targets. Um, man, I haven't played Hitman in a while, so I'm gonna be really rusty. Uh, Jesus, I can't stop just looking at the graphics. I'm losing focus here. Alright, so let's see. What is this? Listen, I want to talk to the partners directly. Make them understand why all of this is happening. And... That terminal gives me an idea. Okay. And there's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. Okay, how the mighty fall. Um, okay. Yeah, we can, we can do that. I don't have anything else tracked, so... It looks like the staff area could provide you with a viable route to the server room. Okay. The, geez, the graphics. <laughs> Sorry if you guys, uh, hate me gushing over the graphics, but, uh, it's just mind-blowing. 
I've been playing games my whole life, and like just seeing these games look this good is just unbelievable. Oh. There's a keypad lock on the doors to the staff area. Okay. One moment. All right, try this. Four seven zero six. Four seven zero six. How did you know that? No one's looking. There's quite a bit of security here. One moment. You ready for some more fresh air, forty seven? Ah, uh, that depends what you mean by that. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe James called in sick today. Of all days, Silas has everyone working triple shift. All this. So much going on there. I don't like this. Or something you're just gonna walk on all day? Can I just casually walk past? Shit. I think I can open that window remotely. Scan the lock with your camera, and I'll have a try. Don't wander off, sir. You need to stay with me. You need to follow me right now. No okay. questions. Move it. Okay. You know what? I got caught. <laughs> this is why I love this game, though. It, it makes you feel like I you're actually you interacting with maker. people. It's crazy. Call it intuition. Thank you, God. Good job, son. Just keep going like that. No problem, man. I don't want any issues. <laughs> Ah. Okay. Uh, give me that. See, they shouldn't have put this here. You, you can't tempt me like that. Um. No. Pick it up. I'm gonna get caught dragging bodies and shit. <laughs> Never mind the weird tattoo. Uh, we're not gonna talk about that. I will finish our conversation later, sir. Why? Oh God, this isn't happening, really? I don't think I need to no do that. Way. I have an outfit now. Maybe I'm underestimating. You go ahead and leave, sir, so I can, you know, jump out the window here. Like a psychopath. Do you realize... reaching out to his worldwide network of lawyers and financial contacts, attempting to restore the lost power base of the Providence Partners. Do you realize if and Stuyvesant were asked to shut the him, hell up <laughs> thinking they'll be told of new developments I suspect they jump at the chance there's a lounge area at the top of the building it can be sealed off for private conversations if we lure the targets there they'll be trapped this is absolutely terrifying I'm not necessarily afraid of heights, but I think I would have a full-fledged panic attack just looking down off of this building. Like, this is not... that's just insane. Not to mention climbing on this. Like, I, I would literally have a full-fledged panic attack trying to just be on the edge of... like, that's crazy. First and foremost, I don't have the strength to hold myself up on the side of a building like that. That's insanity. The server room should be behind one of the doors in this hallway. Okay. Um. Oh, you didn't have a key card. Look at these fancy toilets. 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 <laughs> oh shit! I must go and get the um uh, from the. I look, buddy. What did I say? I can't remember what it was now. Something about the. What is that? Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay, no. yep. Gotta do it. Maintenance.
I'm getting pretty ballsy here, not saving. I'm I'm the guy that saves every time I do something, so. Okay. Now I gotta get rid of this gun though. What is that? Key? Let's go. I didn't expect hmm. that to a be calendar right function. there. We can use this to summon the partners to a fake meeting, 47. All right, I'm no hacker. What like would the point of that be? I think you need to pull one of the racks here to gain access to the terminal. Okay. Um. Let, let me save. Um. Yeah, let me, let me save. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go pulling servers and then have the whole building come running down on me. Oh, uh, yeah, whatever. Damn it. A silent alarm has been tripped. Security is on its way. Hide, 47. You couldn't see that coming? Oh, my God. The door is locked. Where do I hide? Oh, 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 oh. No! Stay cool now! Nice! What? Oh, I got you in my sight. You have me capable of understanding. I'm gonna come closer. Nothing to work. Look, it's a karate kid. Of course, the tornado sirens. <clears throat> ah! I suck at combat, apparently. Oh. Oh. No! I just got my ass beat. If you guys hear a weird noise, that's the tornado sirens going off. It's just a uh, warning, by the way. Don't actually worry about it. Or not a warning, a... Uh, Jesus. Um, Like a test. Is there a place for me to hide in here? can't really tell if there's a place for me to hide. See, he would recognize me. Um... I completely forgot about the... I... I, I can try to hide, I guess. Damn it. A silent alarm has been tripped. Security is on its way. Hide, 47. Alright. I really hope that I can get away with this. Don't come this way. There's no way they're just. <laughs> what? You guys and their stupid equipment. I'm sick of coming down here. Okay. Yeah, we're. I guess we're cool with that. Yes. Sorry about that. Forty-seven. Let's try again, shall we? Ah, uh, I think I've got it. We'll need a key card to gain access. Someone in maintenance should have one we can borrow for a spell. What? You couldn't figure that one out? I probably could have guessed that. Use me. They almost seen me. That would have been really bad. Can I, like, talk to him? <laughs> I want to have to kill somebody for a key card. As I play Hitman.
where can I go from here? Nowhere. You know what? This would be a good spot to dump the gun, though. I doubt anyone will go out there. I'll just stand a couple feet out of your view radius and you won't even recognize me. She's going to be a problem. Gotta do what you gotta do. This guy too. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, um... Let me get that. Just go take a little nap. That's all good. I'm not gonna kill you. I'm just gonna choke you near to death. Just a little nappy nap. What's going on, Hezer? Welcome to the stream. Just getting into some Hitman here. Why did that come up this time? Alright, so again, we're going to save. <laughs> Last time we were in here, we got caught up and end up getting, you know, killed. That must have done something. Can you see anything different in the room? In the room? Uh... Yeah, the doors are locked. All the servers are the same, except that one. one -oh. I see no differences. Um, I see no differences. Sabotage. I mean, they're green. I don't know if they were green before. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Always, always try to, uh, you know, get on here, have some fun. Always hope some people hop in and, you know, watch, of course. But if anyone wants to hop in the comments, I always try to keep up with, uh, you know, the chat and everything. Um, I actually have a, um, uh, it's a custom built, but it's, uh, GTX 1660 Super, and then, uh, um, Ryzen, I think it's Ryzen 5, uh, 5600. Six, I only got 16 gigs of RAM, so I'm trying to upgrade that pretty soon. Um, I, I guess I'm gonna try... But yeah, I'm actually playing this, um, on the Xbox Series X. I'm, I'm not playing it on my PC. These are the worst guards <laughs> in the history of history. They just run in like, man. It's all fine. Oh, I hate this system already. <laughs> hey, that that really would be annoying. I've had jobs where like the alarm would go off constantly, and then you go in there like, ah, it's nothing. Which is not good because then you get desensitized to the alarm. All right, so let's see. Let's try this again. Bam. I probably should have looked around. I swear these screens are different, though. Am I just an idiot? Is it something easy? Is 
something different in the room. I have no idea. <laughs> Save the cameras. Ah, this one is yellow. Good. We're in. I'm pretty sure now all you need to do that's the one I pulled the, the first time. And use the calendar option to summon the Providence partners to a meeting. Calendar, you mean? Good work. The meeting okay. has been booked. The partners should be moving up here shortly. Huh. It looks like the lounge can be sealed off for private conversations. Andy? Excellent. I see the partners moving. You should join their meeting. Time How to end this 47. Cameras are showing a lot of guards up here. They wouldn't suspect one of their own, though. Hello, sir. Uh, what's up, man? Uh... Um... Do I? Nope, I don't start with coins. This is ballsy. Really ballsy. Guys, take a nap together. All right, let's see. Um, oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. There we go. Um, gotta find a way to get up top now. Hello. Excuse me, sir. You know how to get up top. About the uh, lockdown drill tomorrow. That's right, 900 hours. And okay. Keep our um. I don't think you're gonna be doing that, my friend. Ooh. Do I know you? Yep. I don't know you. Yes, you do. No, I don't want to have to hurt sir. somebody. I hear you, but. Uh. <laughs> he got slapped. Oh, he's not a knockout. No one's seen. Oh, I'ma just let him kill me, cause I thought I got away with that. I'll activate the panel controlling the room's security. He took a lot of bullets though. You're ready. 47 over here doing meth before his missions. Which you'd probably have to do to be able to do some crazy shit like this. Alright, so if I pull the right server, go out and get his outfit. Damn, that must have done that good there. Can you see anything different in the room? Ah, so it changes. Good. We're in. Now all you need to do is access the terminal and use the calendar option to summon the Providence partners to a meeting. Good work. The meeting has been booked. The partners Might should be moving up here shortly. Huh. It looks like the lounge can be sealed off for private conversations. Andy. Building cameras are now disabled. Excellent. I see the partners moving. You should join their meeting. Time to end this, 47. Let's do it. I'm not very confident that it's gonna end, though, because this is the beginning of the game, so... <laughs> Something's gonna go wrong here. So I need to avoid him. But he's in front of the stairs. Looking good today, sir. Yep. You too. This is an incredible looking building.
look at this. This looks like, like some sort of insane, like, holy ground or something. I don't even feel like I should be here. About to kill some people in this beautiful place. Excuse me. Is that? Yeah. That is one of my targets. Alright, I need to now come we'll up just with an wait alias. for the partners to be alone. What's when you my can alias activate the room's be? lockdown feature. The hell of a uniform for you. Hey, you. My name. I know you Sam. Got him, forty-seven. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl England. We're not done yet. I think I got all of them. Oh shit! Can't see. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> all right, so I gotta come up with an alias, and my name's gonna be Secret Agent Man. Is there not? Yeah, we'll go here. At least I'm like taking the body out. in there Hello. so my name is Sam code name secret agent man and I am I, I don't have a last name what should, what should my last Just name be uh, Sam Baggins Hello, Sandbaggins coming through. Lieutenant Sandbaggins, yeah. that is. Why? Just wondered if you got the briefing on the lockdown drill tomorrow. I... All right, so I need to find the my. Are alone now. I'll activate the panel controlling the room's security features. When you're ready. Use it to start the show. I don't think that'll kill them, though. I'm, th I'm thinking dropping the chandelier. This isn't good. Do I know you? I don't know you. How you do? <laughs> what are the odds? What are the odds I'd knock someone out and someone? I mean, they're pretty high actually, but fuck. <laughs> All right, so. Yeah, man, I, I, um, I'm always looking to, like, co-stream and things like that, um, or even just make videos and stuff together, so if you got some games or something you would want to run, I'd for sure be up for it. Just, um, my, my social medias and stuff should be linked in the description. Um, just add me on there and send me a message or, or something like that. See, I can't go that way. That guy's there. Wait a second. Oh, 
have... Could shoot them, but I don't think that's a good idea. It's a busy day for him. Surely we can give him a few moments. Do you know what he wants to talk about? What's this? Carl? Did you do that? I certainly did not. Hey! No. I did. Hey, that was so good. I don't know why. Finally, Stuyvesant and Ingram are gone. Is there a way for me to get out of a bad memory. 47. Thank you. No I'll problem, meet you at friend. the rendezvous on the edge of town. All right, now we got to get out of here. That was smooth, I like that. That was actually really sweet. Uh, is that like the janitor's room? It's all good, we'll just head back up there. They found the body. Hopefully they don't shut this whole place down. Alright, uh, can I get up there? That's all right. I forgot two people were just in there napping still. You know, I didn't think about the narrative. This is opening day. Oh, man. Opening day for your new building and people get killed in it. That's insane. Talk about some horrible, uh, I guess, I don't want to say karma, but I must feel like I, yeah, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I wasn't going to go for it. What? I don't even have that outfit on that. I guess he could have left it on underneath. That was smooth though. That was actually really smooth. It's really loud. Um but Yeah, that's uh that's that's pretty crazy. Um the, the look at the different opportunities, like that's this game has unlimited replay value, I swear. Three star rating, 26 minutes. Clean ICA Assassin. There we go. We, we don't have to be perfect. But yeah, um, this is just one of those games where it's kind of like... It wasn't 26 minutes, by the way. I, I died a lot. <laughs> um... But, um, yeah, that, I mean, that's a crazy narrative. You open up a building and, you know, two people get killed, a bunch of people choked out. It's pretty wild. I mean, that's, you can't really get any more unlucky than that.
Does it snow in Dubai? I feel like that would be actually pretty insane looking. How can it snow on buildings above the actual <laughs> um, clouds? Okay. The man behind the curtain. If that's your winning face, I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the constant. Now nah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once, we can do it again. And... Well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look, you don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did, She'll make it right. She always does. That's not true. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. I actually do like the rain. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. Don't you sell what me out, this? Diana. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will soon enough that's terrifying coming from a person with that kind of power <laughs> that is horrifying um so let's continue story are we going somewhere with rain She came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough. You tend to be reminded Okay, 47 out here looking fresh. I might be rocking that 47 haircut here so, soon. You guys see this balding shit that's happening? You ready for this? <laughs> How are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlisle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlisle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlisle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlisle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlisle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. 
Okay, so... It began here, and it ends here. This is, like... Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlisle keeps a case file I can't even talk. <laughs> information that may be helpful in his recapture. So don't leave the estate without it. Okay. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. I love the way they set up these cinematics. It makes you feel like you're playing like a, a actual movie or something. It's insanity. They don't play. Okay, okay. Never mind. It was right. It was right. <laughs> um, man, it's. I don't even know what to say. This game is really, really good, though. Um, Thornbridge Manor, the Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The Revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson, and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously. Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, Jet. Oh, in other words, take out the private investigator, steal his outfit, and <laughs> this game looks so good, though. It's not even that it's, like, astonishingly photorealistic, it's just that, for one, it's smooth, and two, it's just, like, all of the little details, like, from the trees in the distance, everything, like, the draw distance, everything just looks so good. Is this the private investigator? Right here already? Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlisle. Please wait. I mean, there's a hole in your guys' fence. You can go right in. Not to mention, you know, I could just walk around. That is Phineas Oof. Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlisle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. I might. I might just do that. Gotta wait for an opportunity, though. Might as well pick up a brick, right? Never know when you might need it. For a place with top-notch security, there's a lot of holes in the fence. These hedges are very well trimmed. Mr. Whitmer, thank God you're here. Can I take you to Madame Carlyle? Please do. If you'd follow me. Fuck, now he's gonna follow her. Okay, we might not be the private investigator. I, know I didn't say anything, but... I'm so relieved you're here. Everything's just so strange. Preparing for Madame's funeral, and then she turns up alive. It's but very rude for you to walk that far Zachary. in front of a guest. And, and all this security. I've never seen a place guarded like this. Oh, and, by the way, and, and I, I told say, Kate I about this like text. What did she say? Well, I thought she'd be mad at me, but she just thanked me. Said she understood the position I was in. Uh, we had a really good talk about it, actually. Oh, what did I tell you? She's a sensible woman. And that stuff from your ex is like manipulation. I know. You have to be I, know. Before you see I guess I thought she was going to read into them and freak out. I must have done something provoking. Shit, man. Carolyn's really good number on you. Alright, so I did not get the investigator shoot, but I am in the house. There's probably something I could do around here. Our battery. I don't know what I would do with that. Uh. 
she can't wait to get her hands on Thornbridge Manor. This might be bad. <laughs> but I'm gonna try something. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. If she turns back around, I'm gonna choke him out. I gotta drag him across the hallway to hide his body, though. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Disconnect. Uh, it will go offline, I don't really care. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I don't know if I lost internet connection, so if the stream starts to freeze or something, my bad. Can I hide by? Yes. My heart would be racing. Do you realize how absolutely savage you would have to be to pull something off like this? I'd be so nervous, I would just hide in a closet until they finally found me. <laughs> okay. So now I can poison drinks, I can... Cut meat, I can... Eat apples. I don't know, I don't know. Uh, what is this? Soap? Uh-huh. No, turn it back off. <laughs> that water actually looked really cool. Um... Now I'm essentially just gonna walk around and figure out what's going on. <laughs> going that's all you got man you suck I was gonna give you guys some hitman singing <laughs> yes, could you imagine being so wealthy that you have all of these Servants, this is ridiculous. Is that my target? No. Okay. My god, look at this man's eyes. <laughs> Mr. Gregory, something's off. Pruitt got word his motion was rejected. We all signed the bloody thing four days ago. Oh dear god, not this again. So I got hold of the officer. He says it was finalized, but then how can it be withdrawn? Just wait a few days. I'm sure it'll sort itself out. The private investigator's over there. Um, I don't know if I should kind of hang out around him to see what, uh, Basically, he's gonna do or what? I don't. I, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Mr. Sandbaggins on the case. Gregory, don't you, know that we're detectives and you, need to just... you walking out the back here? Oh yeah. Oh, buddy. Shut the door. How you doing, sir? 
some nice outfit you got there. Matter of fact, oh, that's not good. Fuck. It's not good. It's not good. If you're dressed like a Detective 47, you might as well act the detective. I suggest you go Damn, talk to the butler. There's no way that this worked. There's no way. Get him in there. They haven't. F well, he did find the body, actually. Let's go, baby. Smooth criminal. Na 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 na. <laughs> Alright, so where is. Um. Photographer. No, we're not. There we go. I'm gonna get that guy that snitched on me. Watch. Mr. Whitmer. What's up, are man? Are you ready to inspect the crime scene now? Absolutely. I am. Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. Right behind you here. Alfred. I feel obliged to point out that current affairs surrounding Madame Carlyle are of a delicate nature. You may be familiar with the recent announcement of her death. Indeed. You'll probably learn that the staged funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. Madam's children were not informed until this morning that their mother was in fact not dead at all. So please bear with them if they seem yeah, affected real. by the rather unusual situation. I trust I do not need to remind you that there will be consequences word gets out that Madame Carlyle is still alive. If I'm a private investigator... When I leave. Before you inspect the crime scene, <laughs> I will tell you this. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, Madame Carlyle's younger brother. Okay. He was found dead in his bed this morning. Okay. The door was locked from the inside, and a suicide letter was found in his room. However... Madame Carlyle suspects foul play and will not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you, so please don't Are you come sure he's even dead? And finish your investigation of the crime scene. This is Mr. Zachary's room to my right. Okay, well, uh, damn bag and I am um, mystery 47. I trust you'll private get to investigator the investigator on the, on the job. I, I have to say... Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body, 47? That looks really realistic. It's actually kind of disturbing. <laughs> Throat markings indicate a rare, short-lived plant poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. You Let's do check know his search your history. 47. So, Zachary was shopping for New Wellingtons last night. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. Not at all. Unless he was going to dig his own grave. Ah. Um, so the weirdest thing about this narrative right now is you hire a private investigator who is essentially, you know, part of law or detective or whatever the hell you want to call this guy and when they figure out something illegal they're supposed to you know turn that information in or give it to you whatever i'm not sure entirely i'm pretty sure legally they're supposed to turn it in and um they um like i i don't i don't know it's they're telling him that she faked her death. Madame Carlyle or whatever faked her death, so it's like 
Zachary's suicide note. That's... You're literally confessing. Suicide note. Can I read it? I am haunted by horrible past choices and their consuming consequences. Alexa was the raft keeping me afloat. Without her, I cannot also, go on. a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. Okay. This seems like a fire hazard to be this close, I'm not gonna lie. Like, you can literally see the embers burning off. Look at this. That's so close. If the man didn't die by whatever he died by, he was gonna die by the fire burning the hell of them house down. Okay, this is a nice room though. That actually scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Um, this room is slightly creepy, though. It's just, like, too much. Is this just set down? Okay. Sir. What's up? So the pretty far lean there, forty seven. Who the hell are you? Why are you out here? Not entirely there we go. Been looking. Oh wow! A hidden door. It's a secret passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. So there's a big hole in the wall here. Nobody noticed. Kind of shitty butlers. Those are some thick spider webs. I want a uh, spider web. Spider webs. I might not want to be in here. Hmm. A photocopy of the floor plans. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene, forty-seven. Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. Oh, stop pacing. We get any kind of explanation. It's bloody rude, that's what it is. Making us come here to play funeral and then show up like nothing's the least bit strange. You know what this reminds me of? There's a story, um what is it called? Uh, basically a bunch of people go on vacation to a manor and like one by one they all start to die. That's what this reminds me of, and now I'm actually super excited because that's a really cool reference. Am I gonna have to decide? Mr. Fernsby, I'm done with the crime scene. Like, who did, did you it? establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. Okay. That leaves Madame's family and myself as the only persons here. It's literally died. like that. Before you ask. No, I do not have an alibi. I was alone in my office at the time of death. Here is the material that I prepared for you. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will why would you track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case, and I will take you to Madame Carlyle. Yo. This is sick. This is really, really cool. Like as a I and I don't have to be the so investigator. So how does one solve a murder mystery, forty-seven? Motive, means, and opportunity, I believe. May I suggest you ask the suspects for alibis? 
Or perhaps do you prefer searching the manor for clues first? Yeah, I'll probably search first. So, okay, when you get the private investigator outfit, you can pretty much run around the manor, and I don't think really anybody can notice who you are. But it opens up a whole new, like, side mini game where you now have to solve a murder to see Madame Carlyle, and that is sick. That is awesome. And it's a really good reference to a very popular story, which I can't remember the name of. That's nuts. This is crazy. This is really cool. Gutenberg, hello. Yeah, listen. No, listen. I understand, but you need to talk to Anthony about that. Calm down. Yes, I understand. I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. So now I'm just going to look around for clues. I don't know why, but the... There's like a greenhouse in the back that is really, really throwing me off for some reason every time I see it. I feel like that's going to be a big part of it. That is the door to Rebecca's room. So, I can't get a key? Okay, Rebecca's bathroom. I'm, I'm at such a loss right now. I don't even know what to look for. No need to panic. Why would I panic? Ooh, why is that trespassing? <laughs> you hire a private investigator, you look outside, he's just hanging off the side of the building. Yes, I'm still here. What is this? I don't want to attack. Can I not climb up there? Maybe I could get to Rebecca's room. Hopefully I don't get spotted. If I do, I'll just tell them they can't tell me how to do my work. Oh, there we go. Guess I could have did that a while ago. Is this open? No. You don't see me. So he's got a key card and all kinds of other stuff on him. This is crazy though. This is shaping up to be a really cool mission. No, climb through. Well, climb through. Well, well, what did you find? Uh, Oof. That is Alexa Carlisle, unofficial leader of the Providence Partners, oh my God. and last one to be alive. So far, it looks like we can. All the transfers of funds and privileges I've been through have been bulletproof. He intercepted the arrangements our office worked years to put in place. That's why Don Yates should be... Almost got caught. ...the arrangements, he should bloody well be the one to clean up this whole mess. I, uh, I don't know what to say. Sorry. Don't kill the messenger, Alexa. Please, continue your efforts, Mr. Ford. Don't kill the messenger from someone like her is a terrifying thing to say. Okay, so they're all gonna leave, I'd imagine. At least two of them. This guy should leave. Oh. Well, it's all good. I could choke these two guys out. I don't even know if I need in here, but just because it, it's trespassing, I want to see what's in here now, so. You did yourself a disservice. You didn't have to, 
You'll make me... I, I literally climbed in the window while they were all sitting there, though, so that was really close. There we go. Uh. No. Oh, shoot! No, I'm not compromised. Shut up. We got a lawyer. I don't know how it works when I like stack bodies in here if I could switch to the disguises still. Does it let me? Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. So, oh boy, I'm finding the lawyer's information. This all confirms that Arthur Edwards stole everything from Madame Carlyle. Perhaps you should let her know how bad it is, 47. Another secret passage. Before I go in there, you look around the room a little. Okay, we're gonna head in. This is turning out to be an insane mission. Wait a minute. Someone literally has peepholes everywhere. This is nuts. This is actually really awesome. Is this Rebecca's room? I think this is Rebecca's room. Rebecca's laptop. I can see from the log that Rebecca was in a conference call from 9 p.m. to midnight last night. So that's an alibi for her. Ah, I was just beginning to think it might be her. Someone could have tried to frame her, though. I'm literally gonna have to like pull out a piece of paper and try to figure out who this is. Doors open now. Did you check his travel documents? I did, sir. It all checked out. Okay. Well, he's a legit lawyer. I mean, if I had to assume, I would assume that. Madam Carlyle killed him. If I mean, just off of the, the type of person she seems like she is. You know, not to judge a book by its cover, but I gotta judge a book by its cover. So, as of right now, the only evidence we have for sure is that Rebecca is... She's got an alibi. It's not to say she was innocent, she's just got an alibi. I'm literally about to grab a notebook. <laughs> so, I don't even know who all of the um, suspects are here at this point. So, geez, if I can find a pin. Um, so, we got the butler. Madam Carlo. Um, Rebecca, Suicide, so that's four, is there seven? I'm not entirely sure how many people there are. Emma and Gregory, so that's two new people. Emma, Greg, um, Mr. F well, Mr. Fernsby, he's the butler, so, let's 
Zachary. Okay, so it literally tells me. There's another clue in Rebecca's room and another clue in his room, so. Hello, sir. This is actually really cool, though. Because I, I get super heavily into stuff like this. So Rebecca's room is right here. What clue am I missing? Might be something I can scan. I don't see anything right now. Looks like she likes dogs. Bunch of newspapers scattered all over the floor. I got a bunch of bullshit in my inventory. <laughs> the room. Rebecca Carlisle's notebook found in the bedroom, which she is staying in the notes concern various Carlisle assets as well as a board meeting the handwriting does not match okay so we got handwriting so got a handwriting no, no the handwriting doesn't match and the alibi checks out potentially so I'm, I'm not thinking it's Rebecca at this point you never know but um I think this was the way I needed to go to get to you yep, here's his room excuse me sir um Feel like I don't I don't know what else I'm looking for here. There we go. So whiskey and bottle found that that's the clue. We already knew that. Okay. So I need to find where is the map? Or one, level two. Okay, so we need to get up. There we go. <laughs> right there. Um, Jesus, it's a little dark right here. You guys think you could add some lights? Yeah, I can't let you pass. I'm sorry, sir. You can't let me pass? I'm the private investigator. You know what? That's all right. Excuse Please me, sir. What? All right, so let's go ahead and save. This is turning out to be pretty wild. Um, I'm sure there will be a supply, surprise twist. They didn't bring in actual detectives, though, because they didn't want everyone to find out all the messes that they're in. Hey, how are you? I'm good, son. Oh, man. Awesome. 
never seen a dead body before. Hello, this is Cassandra Cox, Edward's ex-wife. I, I don't know what's know. going on at your house, but Madame Edward Carlyle is losing it again. Doesn't think so. He Why else seems she to have asked that detective that to come here. Has come back from no. the dead, and that he no. has to write no. the eulogy for Not some make-believe funeral. Hello, this is Cassandra. I still I have the restraining order on him, so whoever gets this message now that Alexa is dead, better get him under control. Otherwise, I see no other way than to get the police involved. Uh, I'm a little confused though. No, 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 no. It's not good. That's very unsettling, sir. Please stop. Oh my God. Jesus. Um, wow. So, uh, we don't have any information up here. Where am I, though? I am in Carlisle's bedroom. That's not good. That's not where I want to be. Right, he's leaving, though, so I'm good. Need to get out of here, but I'm also kind of already here, so might as well, you know, scrub a dub, right? Clean it up. Check for clues. Ooh. Glad I didn't have a gun or something. I didn't mean to pull that up. I don't see any notebooks or anything. There's no doubt in my mind that she's got a secret room here, so... Look at this closet. Good God. Did I say pick up what? Pick up letter. To Rebecca. Letter to Rebecca. An unsent letter from Alexa Carlisle to her daughter Rebecca. The letter describes how two tokens carried by Rebecca and Mrs. Mr. Fernsby the butler are to be combined in the event of Alexa Carlyle's death. Together, the tokens grant access to a deposit box in the London branch of the Milton Fitzpatrick Bank. Apparently, the deposit box contains a copy of the case file on Arthur Edwards. Okay. Does it tell me, am I missing anything in her room now? I don't think that was, I don't feel like her room was like a major plot point. Not that I know of, no. Ooh. 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 Oh my goodness. Uh, mysterious switch. What the hell? It might sound cynical, but any press is good press. It's a fact. Hey, next stop is a really question. I'm almost, uh, is there a place to hide a body in here? Check yeah, out the coin. Here. Just checking out a strange sound. Go ahead. There we go. What's up? Nothing much, man. Nothing much. Just uh, looking at some stuff. 
You know, why would she hire a private investigator and not want him to go upstairs, though? Who is this guy? What, what do I have marked? I don't know. Gotta dig this place. Ancestral graveyard, trophy room. Wait a second. And the office safe is Why is this marked? Ah, there's a safe back there. Not very well hidden. Pick up egg. Oh, Carlisle, get away from me. I don't think she's talking to me, is she? What is this? The hell is this? What the hell is this place? Unicorn horn. That sounds like it's important. I needed to go upstairs in there though. Madam Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. Uh, okay. I guess that's that. Um, <laughs> I really like, I'm so at a loss for words right now. This game is ridiculous. Um, he's never going to find her though. That's the thing that makes it crazy, is he's literally never going to find her. We're going to throw one more coin at this guy. Maybe. I know that bodyguard is over there confused as shit. He's like, where did she go? What the hell? Well, as a bodyguard, you just... A safe in Madame Carla's office. I bet that's where she keeps the file on Arthur Edwards. Yeah. Any temps on Shit. Um, talk to the... Wait. I don't think I can go back through. Fuck. This is her room. I really badly just want to knock this guy out. Bingo. All right, we're good. I don't know how to get that picture to move though. I feel like that's going to be important. Missing propane flask. Does that make something blow up? Like, there's so many opportunities. Honestly, killing her was absolutely just completely unexpected. So, um, I for sure will be coming back and playing this, like, whole figure it out mission. That stuff's crazy. Um,. You know what? Ah. Not worried about that. I should have just knocked him out. Apparently, I'm just trash. Um, I forgot you gotta like hit them twice. Okay, so 
Why is this a problem? I don't know what's happening with that. Yes, I'm aware that's how we move it, but how the hell do I move it? <laughs> Gotta be a book or something in here, right? How much stuff can I carry? Um... Yeah, I have no idea how to get this painting open. Oh, well, there goes the egg. You know what? Let me... Let me do something. Every now and then I get that, just that urge, you know? Ah. That's crazy. Um, man. So, honestly, it's like, do I, like, do I want to go back and do it? Like, I'm for sure going to play that mission again. That is absolutely crazy. Um, but, did I already, yeah, okay. Um, but, yeah, um, I, now I gotta figure out how to get this coin or whatever. Um, ooh, what is this? It's another piece of evidence. Um. Okay. But, um, unfortunately, that is all I'm gonna have time for right now. So... Well, let me let me do this um unfortunately that's all i'm gonna have time for right now so if you guys enjoyed that definitely you know keep up with the channel you leave a like subscribe um if you guys want to see me do anything specific on this game or uh beat any specific challenge or anything like that leave a comment down below um you know special shout out to everybody who came by uh, I always appreciate that. I always appreciate the comments and everything. But, um, that's, I'm excited because, you know, every game that comes out, there's a certain level of expectation and a certain level of hype. And it's like, for me, I've kind of learned to control how much I'm excited for games on the simple fact that most of the time they disappoint me, to be honest. Um, you know, there are a lot of good games, but a lot of times it's like, oh, you know, they kind of under, you know, fulfilled a promise they made and things like that. But as of right now, Hitman 3 is awesome. And for one, the cinematic experience and the feel, but on top of that, like that mission turning into, you know, having like an entire detective side story. Like I said, you don't even have to do it. I just killed the lady <laughs> and didn't even have to do it so you know it's cool that you have opportunities there and it makes you want to come back and it makes you want to see what all the game has to offer so um i'll definitely be playing that more um you know thank you guys for coming by um i was gonna start trying to stream on saturdays and then just upload content i might do something where i start streaming on saturday and, and wednesday i'm not sure but um you know, let me know down below if you guys would like to see that. Leave a like, so on and so forth. Follow the social medias if you want to get in contact with me or whatever. But, um, you know, thank you guys for coming by Red's World. Stay tuned for more to come soon, and I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. <laughs> Peace.